Hi, this is Tony Tony, and we're here at the home of Doctor to the Stars, Doctor Bello, and uh, we're here to ask some interesting Tony, questions. Go we got Crystal. Let's go. Hi, Crystal. Hi. Oh. Tony, Tony. Hey, Justin. Hey, What's up, bro? Hey, I'm not used How to you seeing doing? you. How are you doing? Nice, nice. I'm good. I'm good. Congratulations. Hi. Hey, Doc. I'm not used to seeing you in the morning. Hi. All right. If Crystal oh. got a best. <laughs> All right. How are you? Why I'm are good. you here? What happened? We have a few You're questions. You're dating my daughter? She's engaged. No, I, I'm not dating her. Of course she's engaged. <laughs> All right. We got a couple questions. For what? But you have to answer okay. really quickly, okay? We only All got right. a minute because I know you're busy and everything. You got to go to your clinic. Mm. All right. Are you ready? Shoot. Okay. But first, let me tell you, you look gorgeous. Oh, thank you. What's your OOTD? Is my OOTD for the day is Gucci from the feet to the dress. And then I have my cute... Orange, breaking back. Oh wow! Oh, Wait, Eva. can I take a can I take a photo of you? Okay, come. I need someone to take my photo to okay. show my OODD anyway. All right. Okay, ready? All right, you ready? One, One two, two, three. Smile. Uh -huh. Wow, those <laughs> shoes look great. Those legs. Make me look thin, huh? Yes. Of okay, course, good. Doc. All right. I'll check. Okay. Here we go. And so, how was it growing up? Did you have any uh, pimples? I had so many pimples. I had, they called me the pimples with a small face. I mean, there was no more face. It was covered with pimples. Okay. That's why I became a dermatologist, actually. Oh, cool. On a scale of one to 10, how, be how beautiful do you think you are? No, humbly, no. I think I'm about an eight or a nine, but when I was younger, I was like a five or a six. And the pimples you said, you mentioned that? Since there were so many pimples, but I was overweight, so, you know, that, that's why all those insecurities should turn lemonade in, uh, lemons into lemonade. And uh, what do you think was the cause of it? Well, acne, now that I've studied, there are four causes to acne. So basically, it's hormonal. Well, that's why it comes out in puberty. It's genetic. My mom had really bad skin. Bacteria, Propionia bacterium acnes, and oiliness, which is next to ugliness. What, what about food, stress, and You know, that's a love. myth. I think the food that do, does cause acne are fried stuff. French fries, um, nuts, because they have a lot of oil. But those are basically it. It's good, it's good to eat like lettuce and stuff like that to get rid of you. When you have a big party coming up, you should eat a lot of lettuce, salad, like three days before the party, and then salmon. That'd be good. And what's your favorite chocolate? My favorite chocolate is something called Jean Paul Evan, and you get it only in Paris. Okay, when's your birthday? My birthday, what, the year or the no, date? It's the date. <laughs> January 25. Okay, expect that on your birthday. Okay, thank you. And celebrity with the clearest, smoothest skin you've seen? I've always commented on Rufa Gutierrez's nice skin because she hardly has any pores, and now the younger, among the younger set, it's like Colleen Garcia. And celebrity with constant acne breakouts? Naco Secret. Oh, come on. Just... I don't want to get into trouble, I always do. Oh, no, Tony. Initial? Can't. First no, itago natin sa pangalan. No, ayoko. Okay, <laughs> fine. You win. Does lemon work in treating pimples? No, it just makes your pimples darker because it burns it with citric acid. Oh, wow. How about toothpaste? I used to do that when I was a kid and sometimes it would dry up my acne because it does have antibacterial properties. But it's like 30% of the time that it works. Okay, see, I have a pimple right here. Look, 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 look. look. The whole head? <laughs> no, <laughs> not the whole head, but right there. <laughs> Done. Okay. Do I prick it? I think we should, but the best thing to do if you don't have a dermatologist at hand, because please don't try to prick your own pimples, is to put something that will heal it and it's an anti-inflammatory. All right, true or false? Mm. Women are more prone to pimples than men. No, men are more prone to pimples. And uh, True or false? Only teens get pimples. False. 50% of the people who have acne when they're young continue to have ac adult acne until they're like 65 or 70. So what's the best way to treat pimples? Since it's multifactorial, there are four causes, as I said earlier, the best way to treat it is with a system. You can't treat it with one thing only. So I think it should be a really good soap that's antibacterial and anti-inflammatory and drying. And then you need some sort of a toner that is also antibacterial and anti-inflammatory. And finally, a pimple gel. Pimple gel? Mm, it's almost like a loom for the pimple. Secret of success, pimple gel. Any particular secret? Of course, that's what you would think. <laughs> See, that's why he should only come out at night. He's dangerous <laughs> in the morning. Any particular secret ingredient that we should know about? Well, I can share with you an ingredient that Cleopatra and all those beautiful women of, that's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years, it's all natural. It's bee venom. B 
Bee venom. Yeah, bee. Bee poison. They secrete something that helps dry up the acne because it's antibacterial and anti-inflammatory. All right. Well, I know you have a lot of things to do today. Actually, yes. Oh my gosh, I'm running late for work. Gotta leave you, Tony. Tony, thank you for sure. visiting me. Oh, I'll thank see you, you in Boys Dr. Night Vicky. Out. I know my time's up. Well, thank you and see you again soon for another skin interview. Okay, mwah.